What is up, everybody? Jay Nell here with my UFC 189 recap video. Let's get into it. It was a great event. I hope you saw it. I went five out of six, so I did very well. Now, let's get into it first on the prelims. I chose Matt Brown to beat Tim Means, and he did. He came in the first round. After Tim Means struck first, Matt Brown came back with two elbows that knocked Tim Means on the butt. Tapped him out via guillotine choke after he got on top, and a great win for Matt Brown. We'll come back to him later. Now, on to the main card. I chose Thomas Almeida to beat Brad Pickett, and he did in the second round after losing the first round. Moving up to Bantamweight for uh, Brad Pickett was a very good decision. He's 36, but he looks strong. He hits hard. He knocked Thomas Almeida on his butt twice in that first round. Thomas was in trouble. He was surviving, and he did. Comes back in the second round, finds his Muay Thai, starts landing shots, and then he lands the loudest knee I have ever heard. Just bone on bone. It sounded devastating. It looked devastating. It knocked Brad Pickett back, arms out, head hits the canvas, done. He got knocked the huh out. Great win for Thomas Almeida. He's 23 years old now that he's gone through some adversity and come out on top. We're wondering, what does this kid have? Give him another top 15 opponent, top 12. Let's see what he's got. Who would you like to see Thomas Almeida fight next? Next up, I got this pick as well. I chose Gunnar Nelson to beat Brandon Thatch, and he did in the first round. Going back and forth, he gets the best of the stand-up. He lands a two-piece that knocks Brandon Thatch down, gets on top. Brandon Thatch eventually has to give up the back. He's fighting off the choke, gives up the neck fairly quickly because uh, Gunnar Nelson is a black belt, very decorated black belt in jiu-jitsu. Gets the neck, taps him out. Uh, rear naked choke. Good win for Gunnar Nelson. Who would you like to see him fight next? Next up, the pick I lost. I chose Dennis Bermudez to beat uh, Jeremy Stevens, and he didn't. I was very nervous, and I should have because I got it wrong. This was a great fight. Had Jeremy Stevens not missed weight, and had we not seen fight of the last like five years in the co main event, this could have easily been fight of the night. First round, going back and forth. Dennis drops Jeremy quick early on his butt, but uh, Jeremy recovers quickly, gets up, going back and forth. Dennis gets him down on the ground, ground and pound, holds position. He runs round, round one, Bermudez. Round two, they're coming back out. Jeremy finds his range, finds his shot. And he hits hard. Everything that lands, you hear smack. He gets the better of the stand-up game. He gets the better of that round. They're, they fought everywhere, up against the fence, on the ground, mad scrambles, mad active. Great fight, I'm telling you. Great fight. Going into round one, they are 1-1. One, one. Round three, they are 1-1. One, one. Going back and forth, didn't we see probably the most well-timed knee that I've seen in a long time? Dennis is going in for a takedown. Jeremy Stevens times it perfectly. He jumps up with the knee. Clocks. Drops him down. A couple shots later, fight over. Great win for Jeremy Stevens, taking out, I believe, the number seven or eight ranked opponent in Dennis Bermudez. Who would you like to see Stevens fight next now? Co-main event. And I'm feeling a little vindication here because if you saw my prediction video, I went off on kind of a little rant about the under-promotion of Robbie Lawler versus Rory McDonald. And uh, not only did they put on fight of the year, they put on the fight of maybe even the last five years. Great fight. And still the UFC welterweight champion. Robbie Lawler. Let's get into it. Round one, they're filling each other out, but actively they're throwing out the jabs, both of them. Robbie Lawler, extremely patient, because Roy McDonald is a puzzle. Gliding footwork, smooth footwork, where he looks he uh, looks like he's moving slower than he actually is. The sneakiest jab I've ever seen from Roy McDonald, and he was sneaking that thing in and out, and it's quick. So Robbie Lawler was holding back, timing his shots, trying to find a shot, throwing out leg kicks. Roy throwing out legs kick, trying to fill each other out. I, I would give that round to Robbie. I think he got the better of it, but it could have gone either way. Round two, Robbie Lawler figures some things out. He starts landing some two pieces, some straight up the middle shots, starts working his boxing. He busts Rory open. They're both red at this point, but he busts Rory open. I believe his nose is broken at this point. Rory McDonald, that is. Some think his, his nose might have been broken in the first round. It's definitely broken by the end of the second. Rory total, or Robbie totally gets round two, finds his game. Come into the third round, more of the same. Robbie Lawler finds his shot. He's outboxing him. He's landing more. Rory, however, figures out. Right kick to the face. Starts landing some head kicks. I believe he lands like 10 kicks to the face. At the end of the third round, he lands 
the big one. Behind the ear, delayed reaction from Roy, Robbie, leans back and all of a sudden we're like, oh, he's stunned. R Rory, Bob McDonald jumps all over and pushes him back against the fence. He's got Flurry's jumping knee connects, elbow connects. Is this it? Is this it? The referee is right there face to face. Is this it? The bar is going crazy. Saved by the bell. Robbie, that is. Lawler, that is. Stumbles back to his corner. Pumps up the crowd, smiles, but you know he's out of it. Round number four. Now, you could give round number three to Rory McDonald because you could say that in those last seconds, he did more damage and had the near finish. However, Robbie won majority of round three. Round four, Rory more the same. He immediately jumps right on Robbie Lawler, up against the fence. More knees, more elbows. Flurry, flurry, flurry. Is this it? Is this it? We're going crazy. Robbie doesn't get his wits back until halfway into this round, y'all. He's sliding up against the fence and blocking. Sliding up against the fence and moving. We're going crazy. Gets his wits back, finds his range again, finds those shots up the middle, starts to get some kicks in there. Roy McDonald took, took a lot out of him trying to finish uh, Robbie Lawler there. Sits back, he realizes, I'm not going to finish him here. Gets a little sloppy. Robbie starts to land again. Round number four, though, my opinion, goes to Roy McDonald. He did enough. Round number five, and you can say that we're 2-2. Two, two. Round number five, more of the same. They're filling each other out. They're going back and forth. They're both landing shots. Robbie lands a two-piece delayed reaction from Roy McDonald. He grabs his face and falls backwards. I'm like, what just happened? Robbie gets on him, doesn't even have to hit him more than twice before the fight is over and still. But I'm like, what happened? That looked weird. Was it a poke in the face? What happened? We see on the replay... Robbie landed a two-piece. That second piece caves Roy's nose in. Roy McDonald's nose is shattered. Done. That delayed reaction was delayed excruciating pain, y'all. Great fight from both men. We just saw the best performance from, Rob from Roy McDonald. However, we also saw the best performance from Robbie Lawler. Great fight. Roy McDonald busted up, broken nose, knots, cuts all over the face, two swollen eyes, blood dripping down the face, shorts turning pink. Robbie Lawler, two swollen eyes, busted up knots, cuts all over the face, lip split in half, split up to here. As he's talking in the post-fight interview with Joe Rogan, this side of his lip is not moving. This side is. Lip split in half. They're both going to be out for a while. Great fight. Who's next for both of these men? Big Rig thinks he's just going to wait it out and fight Robbie Lawler. I don't think so. Tyron Woodley's been cleared to fight. Carlos Condit is back. Matt came off of a win. Those guys got to fight each other out and round up and funnel up a number one uh, opponent. And then when Rory gets back, uh, gets he healthy again, someone's going to have to fight him too. Big Rig, you're not going to be able to wait this out. Tyron Woodley's been calling you out because he has a win over you, and I believe in college he has a win over him. He's ranked number three. Rig's ranked number one. Big Rig, get off the rig. you got to fight Tyron Woodley. That's how I see it. Let me know how you see it. Who's next for Robbie Lawler? <sighs> Who I picked, by the way. I picked Robbie Lawler. Now, on to the main event and the new interim champion, I guess. I got this pick. I chose Conor McGregor and he got it. This was a good fight and it had to be following the fight of the year in Robbie Lawler, uh, Rory McDonald. This is how it went down. They're going back and forth. Uh, McGregor lands two. I'm so excited from the last fight, y'all. Let me take a breath. <sighs> okay. <laughs> McGregor lands two kicks to the body, which t pays dividends in the end. Takes a lot out of Chad Mendes very quick. Chad Mendes was game, though. Even though he was noticeably tired, noticeably breathing hard, he was able to take Conor McGregor down fairly easily in the first round. Takes him down. Ground a pound, lands an elbow, cuts him open. Round one, Chad Mendes. Round two. More of the same. He's actively, I mean, noticeably tired. He's standing in front of Conor McGregor. And we're like, stop standing in front of Conor McGregor. Stop standing in front of him. But he was noticeably tired. He couldn't get off him in front of him. And even though he was noticeably tired, he takes him down again. We're talking both feet up in the air, plants him down with ease again. Ground and pound. He's holding him there. He's winning the round. He makes a mistake. 
He Connor Connor's a gamer too, trying to game the ref because Chad wasn't having a flurry of shots while he was grounding and pounding. He was very strategic with his elbows and landing very hard, very cleanly. So Connor McGregor was like, stand it up. He's not doing anything. He's not doing anything. Trying to game the ref. I like that. Chad Mendez makes a mistake, goes for a choke, gives up position in the scramble. Uh, McGregor gets up, lands a two-piece. The second piece turns Chad Mendez's face all the way to the side. He lands on the ground, all fours, covers up. Uh, McGregor lands two more shots, and the ref stops the fight with three seconds left. A little bit of controversy there. People think that the ref stopped the fight too early. Look, the ref's not supposed to look at the time, okay? I will say this. I believe it was Herb Dean. Herb Dean has given fights the caliber of Chad Mendez more leeway than that before. And that's all I'm going to say. This is a win-win situation. Chad has the built-in excuse of having not, or not having a full training camp, which he already mentioned several times in the post-interview, post-press conference. McGregor wins this fight, has a little adversity, gets cut up, gets taken down, comes back and wins, puts on a good show. Not fight of the night, though. That went to the co-main event. Don't ever under-promote Robbie Lawler again. Now, so win-win situation sets this up for a mega fight against Aldo. Uh, if I'm a wrestler, if I'm Frankie Aldo, I'm licking my chop. I'm excited because you can take Conor McGregor down. Again, it's not that Chad took him down. He's a world-class wrestler. He took him down while noticeably tired with ease. If I'm Aldo with the most underrated wrestling, I'm encouraged. This is going to be interesting, y'all. Sinead O'Connor sung for uh, McGregor. We had the lead singer of Stay Now turned country singer singing for Mendez. Great production. Let me know what you thought of the production. Let me know how you did on your picks. Any injury updates. Let me know about the entire event, which was one of the best of the year. Follow me on uh, Twitter, Instagram, Facebook, Jano Owens. Talk to me. Take care and goodbye.